behind the line. In three, two, one, go. We're starting off with 7018, putting a cube up onto the high node. Their alliance partners moving forward and grabbing those in the middle. On the blue alliance, 56-53, slightly off to the side. Our referees will take a close look at that. Drivers take control, 1745, that's the P51 Mustangs taking a cube out of the middle of the field, making sure we clean up all of the different game pieces available in the middle. Team 9244, that is Steam Bell, taking another game piece from their human player station. As on the Red Alliance, the average Joes do the same. Over on the red side of the field, 56-18, placing yet another cone there as they start the progression towards filling up that upper row. One and a half minutes left remain here on the field as we see 56-18 herding a cone back over to their community zone. They're using a handoff mechanism where they have pieces of polycarb that help position the cone and then a claw that will lift it into place. On the blue line side, we see 56-53. That's the Iron Mosquitoes using their cube shooting mechanism to pop the cube into the community zone. 17-45, placing a cone down as well, trying to match 36-20, doing a wheelie out of the way of the defense. 7018 just short of a cube, unfortunately, as their alliance partners place another cone, completing second link for red. 56-53 shoots their shot, but it bounces off of the backboard and into the community area. That blue alliance making those cycle times fast as 1745 places a cone on the middle row. Your 30 second warning, teams are still rushing to complete their last few cones and links here. We will see robots going up to balance as the iron mosquitoes do. 1745, that is your P51 Mustangs joining, looking to join them on there. 10 seconds left for red to get three robots onto that charging station. We are looking at a double on red and yet another double double on blue. Twenty-two to ninety-four.